Hey guys, what's happening? Remember, before we continue this video, to subscribe, like, or share. Leave a comment so that we know you've been watching. Let's go. So today we will be doing another video on keeping yourself before marriage. We got so many positive reviews and comments from the previous video and there's so many things that we did to, to um, keep ourselves before marriage and we just wanted to share a few more with you guys. So number one, being accountable to someone. Yes. When I found out or when I've recognized that I was attracted to Lois, that I love her, I had to go to her father, her mother. The good thing is that they are our spiritual leader. So they were able to cover us in prayer. They were able to guide us accordingly. They were able to let us know what to do, what not to do, how to conduct ourselves, even as young people, the restrictions that needs to be there. And being accountable is so, so important, especially you, you don't want to be accountable to somebody who does not care. Look for someone who will give you the right information, uh, the, um, their honest opinion, the right answer, who would lead you in the right way, who would encourage you. Look for someone like that. Don't just go to anyone and be accountable to them, but someone who you know that, that has lived that life of example, they must set that example first and then you can go to them. Um, I had to do that and because I have done that, our relationship, we didn't make much mistakes. Um, we were called upon from time to time to give a report where we are in our relationship which is very important so that they were able to help us and they knew how to pray for us. So, be accountable. And number two, strive to be an example. This is so, so important in keeping yourself for marriage. If you want to keep yourself for marriage, this is a very excellent point that you can practice. If you strive to be a role model and if you strive for your relationship to get an example to others, other people will look up to you. And because you know and you are aware that people are looking up to you, now you have a responsibility to live a life transparent and just and true before these people so once you you strive to be a role model and for your relationship to be an example it comes like if you, now you have an obligation to live a transparent honest life and also guys you know some of you and even us we desired that our relationship yes be an example but if we ourselves as an individual is not an example, our relationship would not have been able to be an example. Mm -hmm. So we strive to be examples. So you have to strive to be an example first as an individual, yes. and then your relationship would be an example. Number three, be open to each other. Be transparent. I thank God for Raymond. Raymond. When I met Raymond, Raymond was one of the most real person I have ever met in my entire life. And um, we were very open. Well, he was because I didn't really have like a past, but Raymond, he was very open and honest about his past and a lot of struggles that he went through and he been through as a man growing up. And because of that, because of that insight, we were able to deal with certain things and to confront particular issues that may have arised in our relationship. I remember this particular time, I used to wear this particular pants. And Raymond, he came to me one day and he said, Lois, you know what, um, you are very beautiful. And whenever you wear this pants, it turns me on. And um, we just didn't read, right, you guys? And because he told me that, because he was honest and real with me, I was able now to adjust myself and stop wearing that clothing until we get married now where we could do whatever we want. But back then, because we were keeping ourselves, he had to tell me, Lois, whatever you do this particular thing or wear this particular thing, this is the outcome. So just be open, transparent, and honest with each other. So guys, this is what we had for you to encourage you. We hope that it was a blessing to someone. So, see you next time. Bye. Bye.